So I got three guys and Oh shit. Oh shit. Rifleman. Oh, okay. Damn, I got him. See, this is what I'm talking about. I like fucking uh, you know, AI fucking co-op people up. or something that that are not like fucking playing like 5-year-olds. Like, have you ever played a game or something like that where you have, like, you know, computer people that just fucking, you know, they're supposed to help you, but they don't do shit? Like, Sheva or something like that from Resident Evil 5, who just literally does not do shit? Like, these people are fucking bomb. Sheva, come here! Sheva, I need an egg! Sheva, get naked! No! I'm trying! Chris! Help! <laughs> I'm out of ammo! That's one big camp. No way we find Macaba and all that without help. We wait for a view from upstairs, we might lose him. 30, we go into that mess blind, we lose him for sure. Overlord Hunter, we need a SAT scan of that refugee camp. Overlord copies. Stand by, we'll push it to you. New Lorinda. It's a powder keg down there, gentlemen. Humanitarian crisis doesn't even begin to cover it. Macaba's thugs control everything. Food, water, medical supplies. And what they can't control through possession, they control by fear. There we go. That's our man. Once you're inside, track him down, and he should lead you to the shipment. Macaba controls everything, one way or another. Oh, damn. Everything begins and ends with Macaba. people. He's your top priority in there. Roger, Overlord. What's the ETA <coughs> on our ride? Your contact's already on site. They'll have to keep a low profile. Just try not to draw any attention to him. He's putting a lot on the line to get us in. Copy that. Hunter's moving to rally. Okay. Sir. Yeah, I see him. Oh. We're gonna have to take him out. To perform a yeah. sink shot, mark we'll to do it clean. Line him up, hold fire until we're all on target. Okay, so we're gonna have to perform a sink shot. So to perform a sink shot, mark the enemies by aiming at them and pressing R2. So if it sounds like anything what it, it seems like to me, maybe it might be something like Splinter Cell Conviction. Where you just aim at the targets, mark these fuckers. Wait. Mark one. Holding for your shot. Mark two. Oh, you can see the light on you. And he's number three. Fourth target. On you. Standing by. Open fire. Damn, that was some bomb ass shit. <laughs> That's it. He's clear. Activated camo. Load it up. Let's go. All right, that was awesome. See, in Splinter Cell Conviction, like, Sam Fisher does an impossible task of, like, shooting four targets with a fucking pistol from, like, 800 meters away. This is this is more realistic. I know that there was a what was I gonna say? And this actually happens a lot because I know that uh I read this fucking thing. No, I'm not read. I seen the show or something where they were talking about um I guess there was like some Molly Pirates or something like that that caught like that captured a cap uh wait. Wait, what was it? I don't wanna sound retarded. Let me pause this for a second, let me think. I wanna tell you guys the story. Alright, so there was this um Somali pirates that captured a captain off, you know, somewhere in Africa or something like that, but, you know, it was on the water, of course, so they held him hostage in this little small boat or something like that, and the Navy SEALs or something, like, I think waited on some other type of vessel or something until they got, like, all three or four of these guys lined up, and they fucking shot all these dudes in the head, you know, one shot, one kill at the same time, Come on. fucking awesome, go, quickly. and that's on a moving, you know, a moving boat with waves and shit, so... You know, that's kind of a hard shot to do. Fucking a lot of time definitely goes into to that shit. Into, you know, Navy SEAL training, Green Beret training, Ranger training, you know. Guys, those dudes are some fucking high speed badasses. Once we hit the camp, we're clear to engage hostiles as long as we don't raise story. any alarms. Get in close, make your first shot count. If you've got multiple targets, mark them and drop them at the same time. Camo should be enough to let us slip in unnoticed. We need to keep it that way. If Macabre spooks, we're gonna lose our chance. We all need to be on point, understood? Got it. No sweat, Cap. Roger that. Roger that, Sergeant Hoover! Hunter, just a heads up. Looks like you've got a storm blowing your way. Don't dawdle. Oh, please don't let it be time. Copy that. We never do. So yeah, no, this game is, I think, is pretty accurate. 
fucking, because most people have this perception that the military is kind of like, oh, Call of Duty, you know, Black Hawk, modern, modern pussy wear five or something, you know, people always think like you're just a one-man army or something like that, but that is like far from the truth. This is, I think, more accurate, an accurate perception. Medal of Honor was actually a very accurate game, um, with everything. Remember, if you got a kill, do it quiet. If they sound the alarm, mission's over. Understood. So we gotta do this quietly. We're gonna kill the mercenaries before raising alarms and beware of civilians. Yeah, so people have this horrible perception of the army that is just, not the army, the military is like everybody, everything is just Call of Duty. Right. And is like Up so there, far from the, the truth. <laughs> Can you tell what he's doing? It's a patrol. Especially if you're like a normal fucking grunt, because that's what I was, and you do so much bitch work, it is unfucking believable. I've got eyes on two more. But these are definitely some high speed fucking spec out guys, so. In the building there. So let me just stop talking so I can realize what the fuck I'm doing, because when I'm talking, I stop fucking up. So we're gonna toss a sensor grenade over. Sensor out. Not sensor grenade, but a sensor over there, and we're gonna. See what's going on. So we have one asshole, we have a second dickwad, we have a third cunt rapper, and we have a fourth ass clown. All right there, so we gotta infiltrate over there. So we can do this pretty quietly. Open weapon box. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the gun that I. Wait, AK 200. No, I don't want that. But my SMG, um... No, wait, no. I want to change this. Or maybe it won't let me. Maybe it'll just let me carry the type of shit that I got right now. Wait, let me make sure I didn't fuck up and just, like, completely do something dumb. So these are my assaults. SME MP7. Okay, so this is what I had. I thought it was gonna allow me to like fucking trade in my weapon for like a, a silenced weapon or some shit, but I guess not. So let's move down this way and take our time. Man, this is some badass shit. This fucking camo is the shit. You know, because this would be fucking Solid Snake. Oh, oh, get out, get out! Like, you know, he would have to just sit there and fucking low crawl or something. Wait. <laughs> you know, got blended to this rock. It's like, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, camo index went from 90% down to like 2. So, wait. That's it, then blend in. <laughs> Alright, good. You know. Metal Gear Solid, that's definitely a sneaking game. You gotta take your time for that shit. You know when you have the uh, the octo camel suit. But that is a fun game. Metal Gear. Out of God. I love his voice though. Dude, well, those dudes are making out. Rifles. I could have got caught too. Wait, hold on. Were those dudes or a guy and a girl? Yo, no, it's a girl. I thought those were two fucking men. Like, holy shit. Holy shit, guy. You're a fucking faggot. Oh! Oh! Dude, I'm just gonna follow this guy. Oh! He's just running around. I'm sitting there thinking we have to, like, not let anybody see him. He's just fucking running around. These fucking superstitious ass African people probably think we're fucking, like, ghosts or some shit. I know if I, I know if I saw somebody just running around there was half invisible, I'd fucking shit myself. <laughs> oh, I saw this funniest video in the world today. Um, what is today? There to the left. Just so I can let you I think it's like June third to fourth or some shit like this. Um oh my god, it was hilarious. Like cause I got I gotta talk about this story real quick. Actually I'm gonna keep playing. But I gotta talk about the story. So in Miami or something like that, I'm, it was, it's, it's been on the news and the web and everything, and the internet and everything, about how that you had that dude that fucking ate that guy's face, 